one thing I'd like to bring up because it was very interesting with your country. Um, I know if somebody moves to your country, they, they cannot actually apply to be or they cannot actually campaign to be president of Zambia. And I think you have to be either it's either two or three generations move from another country before that's legal. However, one of those earlier generations, you could become an acting vice president. And I can't remember yeah, the gentleman's yeah. name. There's an older uh, Mzungu. Uh, Guy Scott. Yeah. 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 Guy Scott. Okay. Uh, if I can remember, the president died that he was under and he took over temporarily. Okay. Okay. So what was interesting, and I don't know if you saw outside of Zambia, but a lot of people are angry. And, and especially in America, you have a lot of people saying that. <laughs> Mzungus are taken back over. They took over Zambia again. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, please tell us exactly what his role was. And he, I know for a fact he followed the laws of Zambia. Uh, please tell us about Guy Scott. Okay, great. You know, Andy, because I love a little bit about politics. Uh, but the thing is that, you know, Guy Scott was a great guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a great guy. He's still around. And I remember... Like uh, two weeks ago, I went to visit uh, a certain uh, grave site, a cemetery where I found his father is buried. I okay. even did a video about it. Okay. Okay. So his dad is basically the one who came from outside. He was a Mzungu, you know. He came to settle in Zambia after independence. Guy Scott was born in Zambia. So... Uh, according to the Zambian constitution, do you know that that guy, um, the former president who died in, that was in 2011, the one who took over power in 2011 was called Michael Sata. Yes. So when Michael Sata, so Michael Sata and Guy Scott, Michael Sata was black Zambian, Guy Scott became a white Zambian because he, the guy was Zambian, he was born here. So he grew up here. If this Muzung is just because of his skin tone, you know, if the guy was to go back to to England, or the, he would not, he would be, he would literally be lost because everything about him, it was just the skin. Everything about him is Zambian. Right. So this guy. You know, he because due to his interest, so he he was friends with Michael Sata, and then when Sata was aspiring to become president, this guy joined forces with him. They played together outside the politics. They teamed up together. They worked so hard, and this Sata loved how he worked. And then because guys got we so much used got used to him. It was just the skin, but we do see him like he's just an ordinary Zambian. So Zambians were so excited when Sata became president, he chose him as his vice president, you know. Right. So according to the constitution of Zambia, uh, it only allowed him to say if you are a typical Muzungu, the Zambian constitution only allowed him to... Uh, like a Muzungu because he was not a, his parents or he was a second generation. So right. meaning that his children are the ones who can aspire to become president in Zambia. Right. So him it's third only, generation. Yes, yes. So okay. him could only go as far as the vice president. So what happened is when he, President Sata died the constitution allowed him to only act as president until the country elects another president. Right, so, and, and he handed over power the way he was supposed to. Yes, I think, I, so I think he, he was he, he can only president. Be a, mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, um, he can only be, by law, acting president 90 days before he had to turn it over, right? Exactly. Three okay. months, he... He is supposed to act as president. Yes, at that time we would even address him as para as president. I remember during his time, he he would take a lot of roles as president. For example, there were people he felt should be pardoned from prison. He had that power because he was acting president. He was even pardoning some inmates whom he felt were unjustly jailed. He would even pardon them uh -huh. during the three months. 
then he had to oversee an election. So Zambians had to sit to elect another president. Although the constitution, uh, the same one like the way it is now, if the president is to die now, there would not be any elections. Uh, if the running mate, who is the vice president, is a, a Zambian, or if it is a Muzungu, a third generation Muzungu, he will qualify to automatically be a running, uh, I mean, to automatically become a president. Like the way, I don't know which other country did I hear about that in Africa. Tanzania, when Magufuli died, the vice president automatically became the president, that woman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you set the record straight. I, I really haven't thought about that situation in probably three or four years, but now that you, you're on this interview with me, um, it just came up and I was like, hey, this would be a great time to to get a clear story from a Zambian yeah. themselves instead of just watching the news. 